So here we have the Ford Cougar ST line on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that by pressing the button on the tailgate or the button on the bottom of this key. Two pushes as you can see and the tailgate will open up. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we've got reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera. Plenty of room in the boot as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase that space even further. To close the boot, we can press this button just here, and then we'll work our way back round to the front of the car. Once we've done that, we'll hop in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in excellent condition the whole way round and a great looking car as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get half leather seats, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, we've got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. And then above that, the trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car, and they are 6,215. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So you can see that you've got uh, trip computer information there. So you've got four bits all at once, or lots of individual bits. You can leave it on, you can leave it on any of these pieces of information, or you can have this digital readout for the speedometer, which is particularly handy. If we back out to the steering wheel, these are the buttons I was using just a moment ago, beneath which we've got cruise control and speed limiter. And then over on the right hand side, we have stereo controls. And that button in the middle is the voice activation for your phone. So hit that button. Ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired it up and that is done over on this central screen just here. Hit pair phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then just follow those instructions on screen. If we go back to the home screen, you can see that this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and on our Facebook page. And then in terms of music, We've got AM, FM and DAB radio. We've got a CD player. And you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So once you pair up your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, you'll also be able to listen to your music uh, directly from there. I mentioned that this car had a reversing camera. So it's a full color camera, as you can see, with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see on the screen. Working our way down, we've got dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up or down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed from here, and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. So it's on at the moment, so off, back on again, or you can hit auto, and the car will now take control of the fan speed in order that it maintains these temperatures just here. So override that, just readjust the fans to your own level. For those uh, colder winter days, we've got a heated rear screen, heated front screen, and heated seats. Both driver and passenger with three different heat settings each. Below that, we've got stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Hit that button to turn that system off. This button opens up the tailgate from inside the car. This will turn on or off the parking sensors, and this turns on the autonomous parking. So this car is able to park itself. It can either parallel park or perpendicular park. And we have two videos on our website and on our Facebook page that show exactly uh, how this works. They show it working, so it's well worth checking those out. We then have a six speed manual gearbox, a 12 volt charging socket, and electronic handbrake just there. The last thing I wanted to run through is the panoramic glass sunroof for this car. So you can see the sun blind is closed at the moment. There's a button up here, give that a hit. It will open up halfway and stop. Press it again. That will open all the way to the back of the driver's seat. And as you can see, that lets in a huge amount of extra light. But you can actually open this front section as a sunroof as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.